alien, I'm everyone's friend Whichever world I go, I just blend All languages I speak, no doubt I'm so unique I listen to their stories, I share some of mine And when I gain some knowledge, my antenna shines <laughs> I am an alien, I'm everyone's friend Belling the Cat One day, Goo Goo was addressing the animals of the forest and trying to find out about their well-being. Most animals had one or another thing to say about their insufficiencies and were suggesting nearly impossible measures that need to be put up to resolve the same. So Goo Goo tells them that as much as it is good to dream big, the steps that we take should be practical and tells them a story to make them understand. In a village, there was a rich farmer who had a big storehouse. The storehouse was filled with grains of all kind. Somehow, a male rat and a female rat made its way into the granary and started a family of their own. They gave birth to many mice, which in turn grew the rat family. The farmer got worried over this day by day. He could not poison them as consumable food was being stored in that place. So, he decided to bring home a cat to get rid of his rat menace. He bought a nice big Persian cat and put it in the storehouse along with the rats. The rats were greatly disturbed by this move as their population started decreasing day by day. Hence they got all together and decided to have a meeting. They planned to discuss on how to get rid of this cat that was taking away their peace of mind. On the day of the meeting, none of the rats could think of a plan but one oversmart cat suggested they could bell the cat. By doing this, the cat suggested that the rats would know when the cat was coming and they could all escape. All the other cats were overjoyed on hearing this and thought it was a great idea. They all clapped and praised this cat for its brilliance. But a wise old mouse seated behind at the extreme and finally spoke up. He asked, who will bell the cat? Only then did the other rats realize that it was a nearly impossible task to bell the cat as they may end up being its prey. They all passed the responsibility to each other, at the end of which no one was willing to take up that risk. The old wise mouse asked the rat who made the suggestion if he would be willing to do it as he was the one to give such an idea. The rat hid behind the sack and said, No, no, not me, I can't do that. All the rats realized that no matter how great the idea is, it amounts to nothing when it cannot be done. As for the smarty pants mouse, it had turned bright red with shame and ran into hiding. It understood why it should not have spoken up too early. On hearing this story from Goo Goo, the animals understood the importance of finding a resource who is capable of putting ideas into effect.